Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to a new series. Today we are going to be playing Colin McRae Dirt. If you guys do want to stay up to date with this series, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also check the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord down there. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be playing Colin McRae Dirt. This is the original one, the... I wouldn't say start of the Dirt games, but it's definitely the start of the updated sort of Dirt franchise. And this game came out in 2007. Um, the initial release was actually in June for Xbox and for Windows. But they released this on PS3 with a little bit of an upgrade, which is the version we're going to be playing today. And they released that on uh, the 14th of September in 2007 which i think was one or two days before colin mccray actually died which is a really sad story um but what we are going to be doing is we're going to be playing through the entire of the career let's just get straight into it all right you made it excellent but don't jump in straight away you're not ready to go just yet let me show you around before you get started check it out winners only know how to go in one direction and that's the very top yep this is the path to glory your road to destiny the more races and events you win, the quicker you'll get to the champion of champions, where only the elite can compete. Man, I love the garage. This is where the nuts and bolts of your career are made, not just your car. Here you can keep up to date with your stats, buy and upgrade your machine, and have fun with all the latest gadgets. Get all dressed up, man. So let's get going. Your career begins here. I've lined up a few starter events, which are totally cool, and Colin's giving you a choice of cars to drive. Sweet. Each event is clearly marked for different skills and disciplines. You can check out the locations of where you're going to race, but most of all, you can boost your ego by checking out how many points you've won so far. <laughs> Want to know more? No problem. Get more details here to see if you've got the right car to drive and what gnarly track is ahead of you. Here, select the difficulty level of your opponents for the event. As you can see, you win more cash the harder it gets. That's the way I like it. Oh man, can you taste it? We're almost ready to drive, but hold up a second. First, choose your ride. I can give you the spec on any of the cars. All you gotta do is ask. Once you've got your car, you're ready to race. Come on, man, let's get going. Time to get serious. That's it, you're ready to rock. Pick an event and let's go racing, man. It's time to head out. Awesome. One thing you might notice as well, if you look back at the Colin McRae Dirt 2 series that I did um, around about three or four months ago, um, you can actually see on the World Tour screen there's a little laptop that's actually running this exact game on it. It's a cool little easter egg in the game. Um, so we've got all interesting new stuff uh, for the Dirt series. Back in 2007, this was awesome. So what we're going to awesome. do first is we're going to be doing now the need to core challenge. Class. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's good to start off on an easier class. And this is basically a uh, land rush. Uh, so for the entire series, we're going to be doing clubman difficulty because it's not too difficult, but it's also not super you easy either. Box on the circuit before you can pick and buy the cars you want. That's cool though. Once you do, you can also buy the new liveries and start to look good for all your hard work. Awesome. So we're going to be starting off with the Chevrolet Silverado. Race day, baby. Here we I'm go. I'm feeling pretty pumped, but before you head out there, let me explain what you can do before a race. Take time to view the track info to help make the right decisions for your car setup. Once that's done, have a free run on the track to fine tune the setup. When you're ready to rock, head out. Here in the States, Championship Off-Road Racing is the ultimate off-road racing series. You're up against multiple opponents on tight dirt tracks, not to mention lots of jumps and turns to keep you busy. It's a real fight from start to finish, so it's going to keep you on your toes. Okay, cool. Right, let's get into the first race then. All right, here we go. We got the big truck. Oh, that's not great. Keep it smooth, keep it steady. So um, this game actually uses, oh, big goof. Uh, this game actually uses uh, the triggers. Um, but what I have done is I've actually mapped it. Oh, woo -hoo, that was close. Um, I've mapped the controller so I can use the X and square button as well. So if I end up feeling like I want to shift up my play style, I can do quite easily. Like, on the go. Like, I can just let go now and start using the X and square buttons. 
But I think I'm going to try and use triggers as much as possible. I'm really used to using X and Square though because of um, Gran Turismo. Big time. I've played way too much Gran Turismo lately. Here we go, very nice. Keep it steady and calm and control. Ugh. I think by the time this video comes out, um, it's obviously July for me now, recording this. But by the time this comes out, I think it's a month away before Dirt 5 comes out. And I don't think I'm going to finish this game before Dirt 5 comes out. Not at all. Um, but it would be really nice to get it nearly done and then mix it in with some Dirt 5 content. It would be really cool to see. And I may, because I have every single Dirt game now, I may just hop onto the uh, graphic comparison trend and I might just make one of those. That might be quite nice. Quite nice to see the comparison with every single game. But here we go. Across the finish line, two minutes and two seconds. Victory is yours, my friend. You won the championship. You won the championship. Well done. And then we go straight to the mandatory replay cam that every single game seems to have in this era. Here we go. Let's continue. We've got ourselves 10 points. We've won the championship. I think everyone... Everyone except last place was American in that race. Interesting. Right, that is that finished. Let's have a look and see what rewards we actually got. Hey, even I was impressed. There we go. Awesome. First place, 10 points and 100,000 credits. This is what is amazing about this game is the 3D, the way everything's 3D. And like, it's just so cool. Um, so next up, we're going to be doing a rally. This is a four-wheel drive rally, the Recaro Italian Cup. Let's go. Clubman. And we can't afford a new car, so we're going to stick with this one. Can we change the design, though? Oh, I do like the Brembo. This is going to cost us £4,000. Again, this is a Codemasters game, so they prefer to run everything in pounds. So let's buy that. We're very nice. You're and we're gonna to go. Ride. I know you want to get out there, but here are a few useful things to know before you race. Okay, Travis. The stage info will help you with your car setup, and it's good to have a free run on the track to fine tune your choices. Then you're good to go. Race your first rally event. Man, this is gonna be great. Rally is a point-to-point -point race, and each driver has a solo run through the stage. Whoever clocks up the fastest time wins the race. That's simple. Christian cool. will be your co-driver. Listen to him as he'll tell you various rallying calls, like a two left is a tight left corner, while a six right is a slight right corner. The lower the number, the more severe the turn. Drive well out there, but drive safe. Cool, thank you for that. Right, let's go to the race then. Right, here we go. Listen to the notes for when they hit the corner. First the rally of our career. Right four over crest. Uh, one thing I have done, normally this will have a mini-map rally mode. Uh, but I have swapped that over for... Oh! Ooh, not great. Not great start. Uh, I have swapped that over for arrows instead. Because I find arrows are slightly less distracting than a map. Because that way I can just see what the corner is. It's sort of a... Goes on top of the pace nodes. But it's a lot less distracting than like looking at an entire map. And right four. And left five long. Nice. And right six into care. Jump. Right five. Left five. Come on, 60, come on. Left six. Six seconds ahead so far. Forty. Right six and left five long. Oh. 40, left four. That was very close to coming and off right of the five, track there. Left six. Titans two. Sixty. Nice right. right. Oh. Left one. Right two. Those are some very good corners here. Six. I ha also haven't played. Right this is the first racing game I have ever played. Um, as far back left as I can six. remember, 60. this is the left first five. I ever played. 
I would have been like 50, four right five. when this came out. And left six over and rest and left five, right four, 40. It's quite four. good to come back to it. It's been at 40, least left five over crest. nine years since I last played this, at least. 100, right three into left four. And it's very good right to come six, back to it. Long, there are a lot four. of memories of this game. 100, right six. Awesome. And right six, very long. And left six, and left four into right three. This is quite a long stage. And left they are five, short, and right five, like, and um, left six, long. like dirt threes. These feel like proper long stages. I really do hope that Rally right comes six, back for uh, Dirt 5, six, like Rally six. like this. Oh, that's not great. Let's see if we can get back on track. We will have gone slower for that stage. But should still be ahead. Are we in the green so far? Yes, we are at the moment. 15 seconds. Perfect. Right 5, left 2. 60, Tight left right corner. Six and left six. Perfect. 60, right six, over jump, and left six. And right six, and left oh, six. Oh, careful. Very nice. And jump, right six, and jump, right six. And left there are different right camera four. views as well. Um, so you've obviously got the interior just like the other game. But this one, left I prefer six, this camera view. To right five. I prefer this camera view a lot. Finish. And there we go. Across the finish line. 23.55 seconds ahead. I'm so stoked. I have a feeling we might have to bump the difficulty up a little bit. Because uh, we are trailing behind quite far. Quite a long way behind. Like, oh, not we are, but they are trailing quite far behind. Too cool for school. You've got two new events lined up. Here we go. We've got 10 career points and 50,000 pounds as well. 50,000 great British pounds. The most British thing I've ever said. British. Right. Next up is crossover. This is going to be with front wheel drive vehicles. Crossover is very similar to head to head. Uh, and in fact, for this one, I am going to bump it up to amateur. So we're going to give this a try. And we have it the Renault Clio for this race. Um, I, yeah, let's take this These design. These are great. You're going to love this. In crossover events, you drive each round against one other opponent, but on the same track. You both compete at the same time and cross over at the midpoint of the race. The driver who finishes the entire track in the fastest time wins. Okay, cool. Right, let's go straight to the race then. Right, here we go. We are here at the crossover event. Go, 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 go. Very nice. This game is a little bit difficult with the um, PS3 controllers because of the fact that throttle management is near impossible. The X and square buttons don't work as analog for this game. And also, uh, the triggers are terrible. You cannot manage them at all whatsoever. Their detection point is so far down. Very nice. That's our first lap. He is ahead, but we are also ahead in terms of distance. A bit confusing. Should be fine, though. Should be easy to understand. This game as well, I think, was the first game by Codemasters to have that sort of proximity detection thing. Or it's the first game that I know of Codemasters that has it. And all other Codemaster games seem to follow suit after that. There we go. That is the first race pretty much done already of the crossover. Falcon Tires. They're a popular sponsor for racing games, they are, Falcon. Enjoy that champagne. Ah, all that champagne. Enjoy that champagne. I'm enjoying my tea right now. Nice cup of tea. Very British. Right, 1 minute 19.87. We got that time to 
The world record ever is 1 minute and 6.68. The servers for this game actually still work, surprisingly. But uh, we can't view the servers because I don't have PlayStation Now. Um, yeah, pretty much. There we go. Right, we are moving on to the second race. So obviously, crossover always has at least two rounds. So uh, we are going on to the final now. All right, here we go. Finals. The head-to-head -head crossover finals. They're not called head-to-heads in this game. They are crossovers. I still don't get why they didn't copy these into Dirt 2, but then brought them back for Dirt 3. That makes no sense. Dirt 2 would have had so much more content if they added uh, crossovers like this. But to be fair, we had quite a lot already anyways. There was a crazy amount of content. As you know, we had done 29 videos on it on Dirt 2, and Dirt 3 we did 31. I'm aiming for about 20 for this series. 20 would be a good number, but I'm feeling like it's going to be closer to like 16. I have no clue so far how it's going to turn out. Hoping it's going to be decent. There we go. Under the shell bridge. Over the jumps. Come into the outside. We are much further ahead this time than in the semi-final, which is interesting. But there we go. 1 minute 17.55. We're a little bit slower than our last one, I think. I think our last go was 116, maybe? I don't know. I've forgotten. 117.55. Let's continue and see what rewards we got. Hopefully, we got some very decent rewards. It would be really nice. Keep going, dude. You got two more events open to you. 100,000 pounds. 100,000 GDBP. And we've unlocked two more events as well. That is very good. Right, next up. Oh, are you going to let me continue? Got to make sure we save. Uh, next up is the Rally Raid T1. So this is... What is this similar to? I think this is just Raid in Dirt 2 and 3. Um, so let's do this. We are taking the Mitsubishi L200 Triton. Rally raids are exciting because they're off-road circuits and you're up against multiple opponents. So get ready to be dirty and determined. Christian pulled the short straw to be your co-driver on these races. So pay attention to his calls. It's going to be tough out there. The pro drivers never take kindly to the new boy on the track. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this one, though, the difference between the raid in the last get, uh, in the future games and this one, is this one actually has a co-driver for us. So, let's see how this goes. Right, here we go. Rough bumps and camber, so drive carefully. Go, 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 go! Time for the big boy toys. Crest, right These aren't even the biggest vehicles. It gets better. I don't want to... Oh, left no! Ugh! I don't want to spoil anything because it does get better big time. <laughs> there are some really cool vehicles that turn up. 80, crest and left six. Go, 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 come on. 100, long crest and right three. These cars don't like red line at 4,000 RPM. That's like lower than idle speed for an F1 car. 300. That's pretty impressive. Caution, right five over big crest. Oh, the air time though. Jumps feel really satisfying in this game compared to the other ones. I don't know what it is. And the fact that you can control the flow, it feels more like there is a flow between jumps. Right one. Jumping and cornering, there is a flow you can master in this game. Unlike Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 where you and just sort of like three, wing 60. it. Like, I'm not going to lie, I did right wing four, it most of the time with Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 anyway. Right I definitely winged it a little bit for um, those two games. 
Whoa! 40, left four and right one. That's not great. Let's use a uh, sneaky uh, reset. There we go. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Right, we are behind this car, this truck up ahead, but should be fairly easy to catch up. Shouldn't be too bad. The fact that this game plays a lot smoother than 360 um, makes it that much easier to actually uh, catch up. I found the uh, 360 gameplay was a little bit of a nightmare. Very good. Four over crest and left come on, come on, crest. catch up. I would like a first place, please. Right five, eighty, right one. What on earth are you doing? One hundred time point. He was so slow through that last section, we just went. Meow, straight we past. We, won the event. Great stuff. we got that win though. That is amazing. I'm hoping, obviously, to do 100% completion of this game. Uh, I have a feeling it will be very possible as well. But there we go. 2 minutes, 50 seconds, 0.15. World record, right, on this track is 30, 31 seconds slower. 31 seconds, no, 41 seconds faster. What am I even saying at this point? <laughs> but there we go. There is the win. I will have some tea now. Colin McRae Dirt. Whoa, what a driver. You opened up two new events. And 125,000 Great British Pounds. Very nice. And there are the last two events of Tier 1 Unlocked. This tier system is perfect for this game, though. It is very good. It's a very good style. Right, next up is the Rally. The Front Wheel Drive Mindtex FWD Challenge. Hopefully, one of these days, I can actually record a video where I don't stutter. It would be good. Um, I feel like I want to take the Corsa. Obviously, it's not Voxel, it's Opal in this game, because they didn't get the licensing for Voxel. But, uh, yeah, let's go for the Opal. That'd be very nice. Uh, yes, I would like to purchase a vehicle. That's 80,000 Great British Pounds. And I want to take... Oh, that's a very nice design, that. The silver. Silver and yellow. Yes, please. I'm also going to aim for unlocking everything, so I will be buying all of stuff but here we go let's go to crawberry crag close enough to my name all right no room for here we go we are here with the opal and we are in the united kingdom for this rally keep it steady and smooth try not to overdo it 60 crest into left three 40, right 4, left 4, right 3. Very nice. And left 3 opens. 60, right 4. And left 5 continues through dip. 150, slot, right 2. Perfect. Right, coming up to a very tight corner now. Slow down. 150, left 5 and right 4 long. Perfect. The big question is this first time split whether we are going at a decent pace or not. If this first time split is slow, we've got to pick up the pace. If it's quick, then we should be safe. And we are looking at 4.26 seconds ahead. That is very good. So we are running at a very stable, smooth speed right now. No need to rush. This is another thing as well. All, all the older games had a sort of like distance odometer for your for your cars. 
and you could see how much you'd driven them, and then all of a sudden, they took them out. Gran Turismo took it out. Obviously, they still measured how far you drove, but like they took that out. Why? There's no need to. One fifty crest forty. Oh, very nice. Crest forty, right five. One fifty. Left six over crest eighty, right two. Ah, oh, not quite a hundred miles an hour, and we've spun. Go, 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 go! Come on! We don't have much extra distance to uh, afford that. Turn right four into left three and right two. Turn left two. Okay, so we could do in a double chicane here. 60, left three. Nice, okay. 100, right four long. Right, let's hope when we get to this next time split. Oh, look at that. 11.38 seconds. I was going to say, if we were very far behind, we'd be uh, risking it. Oh, but we're coming to a very nice section now of tarmac. Coming to genuine British roads here. Look, we got a little village. This looks very British. Go, go, go. Come on. Right, we got ourselves a breaking point here. Perfect. Where's the finish line? Here is the finish line. Ta-da! 17 seconds. We did it. We won the event. We won the event. Woohoo! 17 seconds though, that's a huge amount of time. Something tells me we are amazing. <laughs> uh, now that I've said that, the game's gonna be like, oh, he's cocky. We're gonna have to make him lose every single race. Here we go though, 90,000 Great British Pounds. And tier two has been unlocked. So we can go up, but we're aiming for 100% completion like we have on the last two games. So we are next going for Rallycross Front Wheel Drive. And this is the Circuit de Dux France. I think that's how you say that. Good going, man. I think you're ready for Pro-Am. That's right. Let's do it. No, I think I'm going to stick for Amateur for now. Pro-Am later. Um, and we are going to take... I feel like I want to take the Clio again. But I also want to take up my Corsa because it's like the most British thing ever is a Vauxhall Corsa. Rallycross is a combination of dirt and tarmac, about a half and half of each, and against multiple competitors too, so it's not easy. You should watch out for the surface changes the most, as they'll affect the car's handling. Apart from that, just drive faster and be better than your competition. Well, that's kind of what racing is, just being better and faster than your competition. But let's get into this race. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Do this. We are here at our first rally cross. We have eight cars. Already overtaken one. What are you doing? Now, this track I don't think is in any of the other dirt games. Pretty sure. Go, 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 round the corner. Oh, he was on two wheels there. That is impressive. Round you go, very nice. Perfecto. We are 0.03 seconds behind the car ahead by the time we cross that line, but we're in first now, so that doesn't matter anymore. Look at this. Right, onto the brakes. Very nice. Start section is tarmac, but the final bit is dirt, and that is the important bit. The dirt bit is the most fun bit. Always. We got the fastest lap. Very nice. 
Go, go, go. And coming up to the final hairpin. Oh! We did the two-wheeler as well. That was pretty sick. And here we go, across the line. Three laps completed. Not a problem. Not even breaking a sweat here. One minute 44 total. Our personal best was the second lap with a 31.63. Six seconds slower than the world record. How? How have people gotten times that quick? But we are first place in the championship. Very nice. On to the next one. What is our next event going to be? No one knows. Dun -bum -dum -bum 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 -bum. Nice. Awesome, man. Here we go. You to drive like that? Out of sight. Thank you. Hundred thousand pounds. It's a very good paycheck for just one very short race. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. Make sure to check the description down below for all of our social links. We've got Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And if you want to stay up to date with Colin McCrory Dirt, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit the join button and also check out our merch link down in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.